Hey YouTube, once again, this is Cooking with G-Dubs and I'm your host G-Dubs. And today what I'm gonna cook for you is an African dish that comes from Ghana, Africa. And it's a dish that I enjoyed with a couple of friends of mine and it's called peanut butter soup. It's absolutely delicious. And the way I'm gonna prepare it for you is I'm gonna make it with neck bones. And there are a variety of different ways that you could be able to cook it. You can make it with chicken, with uh, fowl chicken, with, or, or otherwise known as hen. You can make it with beef. There's all different kinds of ways to do it. But the way my family likes to enjoy it, they like to use, well, I like, they like it when I cook it with um, smoked pork neck bones. So without further ado, the way I'm gonna do it is like I do in my other videos, when we're working with meat, we start off by cleaning the meat, all right? So we're gonna do that. All right, YouTube, now that we have our meat cleaned, it should look like this. And what, it, what I just did was I washed it with the vinegar, and what that did was it took a lot of the residual blood from the meat, as well as the drippings and everything. And also, a lot of times the meat has a kind of uh, a slimy texture to it when it's raw, but after you wash it, it takes a lot of that off. So now we're about to start to season the meat. And what I'm gonna do is I have a mixture that I made and I call it ifis, uh, and what that is French for spices. And what I'm using here is a mixture of cilantro, fresh, fresh cilantro, fresh garlic, parsley, uh, Italian, Italian parsley, thyme, rosemary, and a variety of different vegetables, onions, red peppers, bell peppers, but all of that would be in the description. And also, uh, I'm gonna have, I have a video that I've made that specifically shows you how I make the ippies. And this is something that I use in all of my dishes, which makes cooking a cinch, makes it very easy and very quick. So you don't have to spend a lot of time using all the different powders and stuff because it's all done with fresh herbs that I've blended together and liquefied and came up with this. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna make it real simple. I, sh I, sh I shook it up a little bit and this is a quarter cup and I'm just gonna use one, two, three. Three quarter cups of the ippies and now what I'm also going to use is add the salt. And what I normally use is Himalayan sea salt, which is not as salty as the white iodine salt. So this gives a better flavor and it's better for you health wise. And this one I'm going to use approximately a tablespoon of the salt. Because of the amount of meat that I'm cooking, I use about a tablespoon. So then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it all together. And when you use the fresh herbs, it gives a really, really nice aroma to the meat as you're cooking. And you make sure that you have it all well mixed together where the seasoning is on all the meat. Mix it up really well. And now that I have it all mixed together, if you see, it's nice and well mixed. And what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes so that the seasoning can soak into the meat. And then I'm gonna put it on the fire and start cooking my meat. All right, YouTube. Now it's time for me to make, or put the, the pork neck bones on the flame. What I did first is I started out by, in my big pot, what I did is I put olive oil, let that get nice and hot, and now I'm gonna put my neck bones in.
because I'm gonna make a lot, I just put in about 32 ounces of water. And because this is also part of a keto diet plan that I have, um, I'm gonna make this, I'm making enough to last me for several days. So uh, this pot, I just put 32 ounces of water and I'm gonna bring that to a boil and I'm gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we'll be back to add the next step. All right, YouTube, what I've done is now it's about uh, 16, 17 minutes since the pork has been cooking. So now what I'm going to do is stir it up a little bit and I'm gonna to add to the mixture about three pounds of my uh, cut up potatoes. And what I'm gonna use is red potatoes. I got three pounds of organic red potatoes that I sliced up. I'm gonna add it to it so it all cooked together. I'll mix it all together because you know potatoes take a minute to cook. So now what I'm gonna do is let it continue to cook together for another 15 to 20 minutes. All right, there you go, YouTube. That's my a timer going off. And it's now time to check on the pork. The way it is now, I'll show you real quick. Look at that. Boiling real nice. And now since it's been boiling for the last total time boiling for the pork has been about 45 minutes. And I'm gonna double check to make sure everything is nice and tender. And those of you who are on a keto diet, you do not necessarily have to put the potatoes in there. I put it in there because I'm making this for my family and my family are not on the keto diet, I am. And my wife is kind of borderline. So um, this is for them, but you don't have to put the potatoes. You could keep that out for your keto diet. But everything else you could, you could add. So now I just checked. The potatoes are, uh, since I put the potatoes in halfway through the process, the potatoes are real soft along with the meat. And since it's been boiling together, all the, all the seasonings have been sweating together. Now, the next step is um, to prepare our tomato paste. And what I have is some organic tomato paste. And I'm going to put this much of the tomato paste. One, two, heaping spoonfuls. And then what I'm going to do is stir it up together. And then I'm going to add an additional 32 ounces of water. mix it together and then I'm gonna add a little bit more water Be right back all right so what I just did is I added another 32 ounces of water so that's a total of 64 ounces of water that I added to the mix and what I also did is I'm going to add the peanut butter and what I have is some uh, natural organic peanut butter and you could get any kind of peanut butter as long as it's just with peanut butter and salt, and that's it. This one, the ingredients is dry roasted peanuts, palm oil, and that's it. That's all that's in here. So um, that's what, what I added to this, all right? And what I did is I took about one and a half cups, which is this much, one and a half cups of peanut butter, and I put it in a bowl with and I put warm water in it and I mixed it together to liquefy it a little bit 
to, to loosen up the viscosity. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add it to the soup so that it'll all boil together. And as when it boils up, then I'm going to add my vegetables. That's the last part of the recipe is adding the, veg the veggies. All right. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna let this boil where everything blends together. I'm gonna let it boil for another like five to 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back and check it, all right? What I have now is, as you saw, how the soup is looking, is looking real scrumptious right now. So now we're almost done. The last step is to add our veggies. And what I'm gonna add is some stir fry veggies mix. It's already cut up in the bags you can get at your local grocery store. And I'm just gonna add this dump it in let it boil for about three minutes and then we're done well, while this is cooking what i'm going to do now real quick is taste it to see if it is perfect and i think it's almost perfect we got to taste it we got to give it a little taste test It needs a little bit of salt, and that's it. And for you out there, you could season it to taste. And uh, in the African, uh, the way the African, a lot of African countries make this, because it's popular in Ghana, but in other African countries, Tanzania and others, they make very, they make variations of the same thing. But one key ingredient for them is habanero peppers. So you can add the habanero peppers at this point, which will spice it up, or you can put cayenne pepper in it, and it'll make it super, super delicious for those of you who like it spicy. All right, in my family, my youngest son loves stuff hot, but everybody else don't. So this is a time where we can be able to, you know, make it, cater it to each person. But for you, YouTube, you can make it however way you want, make it variations of the whatever you like. All right, one more taste test. There we go. So I'm gonna give it another five minutes to let the veggies cook so that the veggies don't get too soft. It'll be nice and crisp, and then we'll be ready to serve. All right, be right back. All right, YouTube, you see how that looks? It looks scrumptious, don't it? All the veggies are nice and crisp, and now it's time for us to taste. So now what I'm gonna do, YouTube look at that don't it look absolutely scrumptious now it's time for the taste test and I have my bowl of soup ready to go let's try it now, there you go look at that don't that look absolutely delicious now, let's see what it tastes like Wow, wow, as they say in Haiti, mes amis, excellent, excellent. Wow, when you try this YouTube, you and your family are going to love it. Thanks for checking me out. 
This is Cooking with G-Dubs. I'm your host, G-Double, um, and I am so glad to be able to share this dish with you. Don't forget, like, like and subscribe down below, and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to check us out, and we'd be more than happy to share these recipes with everyone you know and love. Thanks for checking us out. Take care. Bye.